it's time to head over to the Beko kitchen and see what Chef Mark's got on the menu today. At the start, we said lamb, and lamb was my favourite, and you're doing it two different ways. Yeah, we've got lamb ribs today, so look at these beautiful heaps of meat on there. Yum. I'm cooking it on the bone, so it's going to be nice and tender, mm. full of flavour, and we've got two different um, ways to enjoy them today. So yum, we've got yum. an Asian uh, way, so we've got honey, spices in there, the soy sauce, ginger, garlic, and then we've got a spicy harissa marinated lamb rib, which we're going to roast as well. So Yum. take your pick. Yum, I love lamb, one of my favourites. And we'll get to see how to create this dish a little later on. Great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen. And we've got lamb ribs, not one, but two ways, Mark, which I'm really <laughs> excited about because I love lamb. <laughs> yeah, and these look great. Look, oh, at, these, look at these ribs. Nice. <laughs> OK, so we're, we're, we're going to do the first one first. Yeah, so we're going to go... Clearly. So, <laughs> yeah, so going to start the first one. No, we're going, so we're going to go Asian first. OK. So cool. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to put some in there. Nice. Uh, get it into a bowl. Yes. And what we want to do, we're going to give it a dry spice mix. OK, and so, the dry spices. So I've got a little bit of cumin. Yep. So that goes in there. So just powdered cumin. Just a couple of uh, chilli flakes. You know, it's optional. We, you know, we're not looking for too much heat. That's in the second recipe. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> a, a little bit of pepper. Nice. A little bit of salt. Right, and then I've got some ginger and garlic, and I'm just going to grate that over. So I just use a microplane or a grater. Easy. Yeah, that's just going to give us loads of flavour. Well, it's smelling good already. And, uh, and then what you want to do, is if you if you take a nice uh, sheet of uh, tin foil yes. and rip that off. Mm -hmm. How big do you want it? Yeah, double that. Double that, oh, OK. It's a big sheet. Yeah, and then we want to fold that in half. OK. You want that? Glossy side in or out? Uh, either or. Okay, I don't know. Cool. Some, some people say that. <laughs> just fold it how you fold it. Just fold it how you fold it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the chef. I'll just yeah, follow get, I'll get told off for that. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh. then we put that on the baking sheet. Yeah. So we've double lined it. So that's just going to help, um, you know, keep all the juices in and just sort of protect it a little bit more. OK, cool. Right, right, so ginger gets down. grated in. Just like and that, then, Chef. Yep. Oh, beautiful. So you've done that before. You know, so just you know, you can get your hands in there and just sort of massage it around. You know, you've got so many so many flavours there, but you just you just sort of season it all, and then all those flavours. Jeez, smells good. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, great, isn't it? And then just pop them all in here, and then what you want to do is wrap it up now, nice and tight, and seal it in. So as the, you know, as it gets hot and the liquid comes out, it's sort of going to help steam it. And we're going to cook these um, for about two and a half hours, two hours, two and a half hours, um, about 160 degrees. So just nice, nice sort of slow and long, and then it'll just fall off the bone. Okay, cool. Well, I hope you've prepared some because we don't have that much time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just pop them in the oven, shall yeah, I? Yeah. yeah. And I've got some more cooking, so you will get to see this at the end of the show. Right, and then. What we're going to do now is we're going to get a glaze. So we're going to get a nice Asian flavours in there. Nice. So we've got what some rice using? vinegar. Rice vinegar. It's a nice hot pan. Yeah, that's hot, all right. Yeah, got some soy sauce. Yes. Goes in there. I've got some sweet soy. You know, some nice thick treacly soy. It gives mm. a nice bit of richness. Yum. Uh, and then I've got some honey as well. Honey goes in there. And we've got all these sugars, so you've got that whole sweet and sour, salty um, flavours in there. Brilliant. We're going to bring it up to the boil, turn it down, simmer it. And, you know, any trimmings like this from grating or from peeling, I keep getting told off for uh, peeling my ginger like this. Do you? you know, Who tells you off? Whisker, the, na the nation. <laughs> um, so they just think I throw it away. But don't throw this away. You know, get it all and put it flavor. in just for some extra flavour. And we've got some garlic as well. We just uh, just crush it and pop it in whole. We'll strain those bits out later so you won't get those, but you'll get all that flavour into that soy. So I bring it up to the boil, turn it down, simmer it for about 15 minutes. It will reduce down a bit, it will thicken. Once the ribs are nice and cooked, we're going to open it up, uh, open the foil up, turn the oven up to about 200 degrees, and then start basting it with that. And it'll Brilliant. get nice and crispy on the outside. The, the, the glaze is going to stick to it and go nice and sticky and uh, mm. beautiful. And then we've just got some uh, sesame seeds, what we're going to toast and just sprinkle over it. So nice and simple. I was going to say that is nice and simple, quick and easy too. It is. You just need a little bit of time to do it. But, you know, once you've got this stage in and the ribs yeah. are in the oven, you know, you've got two and a half hours to... Uh, Play on Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> Play on Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll get the second part uh, for the lambs very soon. We're going to be doing Harissa braised lamb ribs. We need to make the second of Mark's lamb rib recipes. So the Asian one's uh, brewing up, and uh, this is smelling fantastic too, by the way. Yeah, it's right? good. So it's just come yeah. up to the boil. We'll turn it down and just simmer it. You okay. don't want to over-reduce it because you've got the soys in there, so it's going to get... Uh, 
going to get a little bit salty. OK, so while we wait for that to finish off, we're going to do our harissa lamb, aren't we? Yep, that's it. Right, so we've got a, a dry pan, so we're just going to toast some spices. So I've got a bit of cumin, cumin seeds in there, nice. and coriander seeds. So you just keep them on the go, OK? Over a nice sort of medium to high heat, keep turning them. You know, they'll, they'll slightly go brown, but you'll smell them before they go brown. OK, you know, Once you've got a nice smell, toasted, you can grind them in there. And this is North African, really, isn't it? Or yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So it's so it's so harissa is basically a, a pepper and chili sort of, or nice. roasted pepper and chili sort of spice mix. So we've got these uh, beautiful capsicums here. So you can do this yourself if you've got a gas stove. You can just put the uh, peppers or capsicums straight on there and blacken them. What you want to do? Get them all black all over. Pop them in a, a bowl. Cling fill them. Cling film them, leave them 10 minutes and they'll steam and then just rub all the um, skin off. So you right, can see how black you want it. You know, you've got these little bits of um, blackened skin on there. And a little bit's really good because it gives you a really nice flavour. Or you can just go to the supermarket and just buy them now. Sounds like someone <laughs> do that. <laughs> You're trying Probably yeah. in a jar. Yeah. <laughs> Already jarred. Yeah. But, it, but it's great because it, you know, it, it does save a lot of time, you know. But it's great fun. Or if you've got a blowtorch as well, you can blowtorch them. You know, it's a great one for the kids. Well, it's probably not a good one for the kids, actually. <laughs> yeah. Older kids. Yes, we take that back. Please do not get your kids to blow torch your capsicums. OK. <laughs> um, yeah, just go and buy them. It's a lot easier. Right, a little bit of garlic as well goes in there. Are you happy with this, Chef? How's this looking? Yes, yeah, so more? smell it. So you can start smelling can smell the, uh, the, the spices toasting now. I'd give it a little bit longer. OK, cool. You'll pop it in here and then just grind it down to a nice powder. OK, Chef. All right, so I've got some chilies. Um, it's up to you, you know, if you're going to roast the uh, peppers, it's always a good idea to roast the chilies as well. You get another, you get all this extra flavour. You don't need to, you can put them straight in. Uh, we didn't need that. I was just making it a little bit less spicy for you, Mike. <laughs> Thank Thinking you. of you. Good man. Uh, a little bit of uh, smoked paprika. Yum. All right, got a little bit of uh, lime juice. Lime juice? Yep. What does the lemon juice, juice do? Just cuts down that. Yeah, it's just gonna it's just gonna sharpen it. It's gonna okay. sharpen it up. Oh, it's sharpen it up even. Okay. I've got a little bit of brown sugar as well, and then I've got some herbs. So I've got some coriander, some parsley, some mint. Right, are you happy with these, Chef? Is that done now? Yeah, that's really good. So okay, I pop cool. them in there. Oh, geez, that smells good, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it's good. Right, and then a little bit of oil as well. I'm gonna pop in there, and a little splash of that. And then what you want to do, if you've got a food processor and you're doing a little bit more quantity, do it in a food processor, it's probably a lot cleaner. So I'm just going to do it with a little hand blender, blend it all in. Once they're crushed, they can go in there as well. And you're going to get this amazing, um, you know, roasted capsicum, spicy, fresh sort of, you know, harissa paste. The all the smells in here are incredible at the moment. Right, okay, so cool. So are you happy with this? Is that crushed enough? Yeah, that's great. So I pop that in there. I've got the herbs as well. I'm just going to put them straight in there. You can blend them through if you want. I'm here. Yep. Okay. Cool. Pop that in there, and then stir that around, and then that goes over the lamb. All right. So if you've got time, marinate these for a couple of hours, or even better, overnight in the fridge, and then we'll do the foil again. Okay. Cool. Do you want to double fold it? Yeah. Double fold it again. So that. <laughs> Or quadruple folded. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> you know, so it's just like an insurance policy. It gives you a little bit of extra strength. Keeps all those juices in. They go in there. Oh, they look amazing. Look okay, that. cool. This is going to be awesome. So I get some of that in there. A splash of that in there. Just with some extra liquid. And that extra liquid as well, you know, just cooking long and slow. Yeah. Just helps it steam. Okay. Crunch all that up. And that goes in a hot oven as well. Well, no, a medium oven as well. Cook it nice and slowly. Uh, towards the end of the cooking, we'll lift it over, uh, lift it off, and it will just dry out and crust up a bit, and you'll get all those amazing flavours around the lamb. So, you know, that whole harissa and lamb is a great combination. How long do we put them in for? A uh, good couple of hours. Good couple of hours. OK, so it takes a little bit of time to cook. Not much preparation, though, to be honest, and you're going to get some beautiful flavours, absolute beautiful flavours. So smelling good, looking fantastic. Get the recipe at our website, thecafe.co.nz. Do let us know how you get on. OK, we're back in the Beko kitchen because we've got one more step to find uh, to show you for these ribs. Things are smelling fantastic, Mark. Well, I'm going to show you where we're at to now. Look at <gasps> this. Oh, Ta-da! I popped a little bit of sauce in there just to get some of that mm. flavour. That's continued to reduce down and it's a little bit thicker now, so I'm just going to brush them over. Jeez, they smell amazing. And then I'm going to leave them uncovered now. 
uncovered. I'm going to turn the oven up to 200 okay. degrees, uncovered, and give it another 10, 15 minutes just to crisp up and glaze. And look at the Harissa ones as well. You can see that. Can I have you know, a smell? Yeah, have a smell. Mm, Ooh, beautiful. Yum. Um, and then we're going to leave these uncovered as well. Okay. You know, so we're very, very nearly there. You can see the, the meat shrunk around the bone. It's pretty tender. And I've got my sesame seeds there just to garnish a little bit later. So 10 minutes, we'll be tucking into these ribs. Brilliant. Um, just while we're here too, I just wanted to say hi to Darian. Mark and I met Darian at Dynamo Which um, awesome. a few days ago. You were a great show, wasn't it? it was and Darian so watches the cafe every day and she doesn't leave until we see your food at the end, Mark. So <laughs> thank you so hi. much, Darian and your husband. Okay, now it's over to Mark with his ribs. They look incredible, Mark. Wait until you taste them. Oh. True, we left to be quick. Is that all you made? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's enough for me. Oh, that's what are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got a Cajun chicken gumbo.